Hello everybody, in this video I will be unboxing this Pesus wireless presenter. It allows you to basically use the infrared to show where you're pointing and also change the slides as well if you're doing a presentation. So this is fairly cheap and it's really good for presenters. It's nicely packaged here. So I'm just gonna remove this. It's very light. It's got a few buttons at the front here. So this is the back button, forward button. This is to turn on the laser. This is the home button and there's on and off buttons on the side here. So this has a laser radiation so you just got to be careful don't point it to your eyes or anyone else's eyes. And at the bottom here it's got the USB port and a USB-C port which is great so you can flip between the two if you needed to. There's some laptops that don't have um, a USB port so the USB-C port comes in really handy. For example, if you have a tablet without a USB port, you can switch it and use the USB-C. Just slides here at the at the bottom. It feels like it's magnetic, so you just give it a little push and it just slides in. Let me just get some batteries. It needs AAA battery. Let me get this AAA battery. Put it in. Put the cover back on. Make sure you turn it on. So slide it on. You see the orange light flashing at the top there. Now, when you, whenever you press the laser button, you see the orange light, and you can also see the laser here. So I'm just pointing it. That's pretty good. It's nice and visible. And when you're pressing the forward and back button and the home button the light goes on, the orange light goes on. So let me test it on a few applications and different devices. I'll try to use it on a Windows PC, a Mac and an Android and Chromebook PC. Let's see how, how, how it all works and whether it's uh, good or not. Okay so now I'm just gonna plug this in. So I'm gonna plug in the using USB USB-C port. I'm just plugging it into the USB-C port. It should detect it. I'll just try the go to launcher option. So now I'm gonna press this forward button. Yep, then it goes forward. So I'm gonna try now with PowerPoint should be exactly the same thing. It's just going to put it into the presenter mode. So now let's go forward. Yep. And then I'll go back. Let's go what, see what the home button does. The home button doesn't really do much except for it's not going forward again. Yep, so it's like going forward. So the back button and the forward button. Let me try it on YouTube. I was hoping to use it on a media player as well, but it doesn't seem to work that well. So on YouTube, if you press the forward button, it scrolls down and then it scrolls up. It would have been better if you can actually use it as a play button so that if you were presenting and you needed to start the video you can press the forward button which is the play button and back is would have been the pause button. There may be some tools out there that allows you to remap these buttons but it takes a bit of a while to re-tweak and change that configuration. So this is on a, on a Windows PC Windows 11 on the laptop. 
and the home button goes to the top. So let me try it on a different device. I'll try it on a tablet now. Okay, so now I'm gonna test it on a Android tablet. So this is the Samsung tab. It's gonna plug it in. It's got a USB-C port on the side here. So plug that in. Go to the presentation mode. Present to this device. Let's try it out now. So I'm pressing the forward button. There you go. Pressing it again. Back button. There's back. Forward. Home button. Let's see what the home button does. Doesn't really do much, the home button. Just seems like it's going forward. So those two buttons, once again the home button, pretty useless, once again, but it's, it works on an Android tablet. Okay now, so I'm going to test it on the Chromebook, so I'm just going to plug it in, this has a USB-A port, so I'm just going to plug it on the, this side, so now it's uh, plugged in here, let's Try the function. I'll put in the slideshow mode. Okay, so now I'm just gonna press the forward button. Yep, goes forward. Back button. And obviously the inf infrared. The home button. The home button actually just appears that it goes. It brings up the menu on the bottom right hand side and sometimes it goes forward. I don't think that's really useful at all. But there you go, it also works on the Chromebook. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it on a, a MacBook Pro. I'm just gonna plug in the, you, the dongle onto the USB-C port. Okay, I just plugged it in here. It looks like it has picked it up. Continue. Now if this prop comes up, identify your keyboard, just ignore it, just cancel it, just hit the red button to close the window down. If you double press it twice, it goes forward. So not very useful that one. You can hold on to the button and it exits it. Seems to yeah bring up the tab. So yeah, the home button's not very useful at all. So there you go, guys. I've tested on, on four different devices. It seems to work on all the four devices. The home button is the one that is not the most useful. The other feedback that I have is being able to remap the buttons so that it can be used for other applications such as a video player on, on YouTube so that you can pause the video, start the video and so forth. So there you go, this is a very useful device. So once again, it's the Versus wireless pointer. Just got to remember there's got the on and off button on the side here. The, the infrared works well. If this video helped in any way, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.